जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर 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 हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय शंकर जय जय शंकर हर हर शंकर जय जय Voice of God, Volume One, Part Six, Chapter Three: The Way to Reduce Crime. Why does the government exist? In a country, those who are strong may subject the weak to cruelty. A large group may create difficulties for a smaller group. Some people may join together and force a person to give up his house, property, etc., and appropriate them illegally. A government came into existence to ensure that these things do not happen, and there is order. What does this government do to pre- prevent those indulging in wrongdoings from doing so? It gives punishment. Many people are prevented from indulging in wrong actions for fear of punishment. To a person who has committed some cruel acts, the government meets out more cruelty. If a person robs ten rupees, the person who is the victim suffers only a little. But greater suffering is inflicted on the one who stole by the way of imprisonment for several days. It is only by doing so that a person will not indulge in the same crime again, and also others will be afraid to commit the crime. This is the basis on which the law relating to punishment has been formulated. When we look at human psychology, this has to be accepted. But at the same time, the government should develop a better method than this. Someone being punished after he has committed a crime, or something not indulging in crime for fear of punishment, and not out of the feeling of dharma, are only secondary. What is most desirable is to ensure that people do not at all get thoughts of indulging in crime. The governments may have to follow in practice of arthashastra that when someone indulges in a cruel crime, the government has to inflict greater cruelty on the one who has committed the crime. At the same time, the government has to understand, at least as an ideal, that this arthashastra has to fall at the feet of dharma shastra. If the government creates an atmosphere in which good people following the Dharma Shastra come up in large numbers, the tendency of people to indulge in crimes will gradually decline. If there are ways by which those who know Dharma and follow Dharma can grow in can grow in numbers by their own example and spread peace and good conduct, wars and crimes will come down. To begin with. Those holding positions in the government should be those who follow dharma. Those who are committed to the to the ways of dharma should conduct the, the affairs of the state in such a way that people would believe what they say and do. What they say and do is not for their own good, but for the people only. If those who are committed to dharma tell the people in a peaceful way about dharma, people will conduct themselves according to it. The government alone cannot create a crimeless state. People who are committed to dharma should join hands with the government and should do this. The government has, the government should create the atmosphere conducive for such people to act according to dharma. The government should concentrate more on enlarging the circle of those committed to dharma and increasing the police and the courts. Then increasing the police and the courts, the government should provide enthusiastic support to those who preach dharma in a peaceful manner, with the object of helping others and not themselves. By such enthusiasm, is more people will come up. To show by personal example is more powerful than preaching. If the courts are increasing, it means that crimes are on the rise. Instead of this, if there are more temples, greater peace will spread everywhere. The kings in the olden times built temples instead of courts. They renovated old temples. All arts and recreation were made divine and dedicated to the temple. People also worshipped at temples and were peaceful. The social discord and misunderstanding, which are now prevalent, were not there. 
Instead of making laws to prevent crimes, people should be shown a proper path and turn to it, thus reduce the chances of their thinking of crime and indulging in it. It is best to show what is good and ensure peace instead of meeting out punishment. Such a peace will only remain permanent. It is enough if the government treats respect, those who are for peace, good people, and those committed to dharma. These good qualities will on their own grow among the people.